following trailer is rated S for spoilers, but mild ones like nothing you wouldn't learn in the first couple of hours. From Bebop and comes the only reason for the PC Master Race to descend from their ivory towers and mingle amongst the console common folk in the best Batman game of all time that is by far the least batty, Batman-y, Batman-like, Arkham Knight. Scarecrow and the mysterious Arkham Knight have taken over Gotham, causing all the graphics card taxing citizens to evacuate. Now you'll don the bat hat once again to protect the city you love, even though it's a godforsaken all-dude crime orgy that should really be sunk into the ocean at this point. Honestly, look at this place. Why the f people still live here? The Arkham games have only been getting better, except that time they got worse. But now, the series is great again, as the same old formula is polished to perfection in a trilogy finale. Yes, I said trilogy. That's one part Batman game, one part Grand Theft Arkham Tank Simulator. Wee! I'm a detective! Meet the upgraded Robocop version of the Dark Knight, who still isn't bulletproof. But after fighting his way through three of these games, don't take no from nobody. He's a superhero with the most unfair advantage of all, money, as you unleash a billion dollar arsenal of planes, tanks, impossible time traveling hologram memory scanners, ventriloquism, looks like I'm running out of idiots, sidekicks you barely use, and highly paid manservants, proving to children everywhere that if you want to become Batman, you'll need some very rich, very dead parents first. The criminals of Gotham are on the loose, and they love nothing more than to talk sh on the radio. He's too cheeky to face me. Make them say that to your face as you track down some of the most notorious villains like the Riddler, whose underground racetracks really stretch the definition of the word riddle. If you can't understand the intellectual virtues of completing this trial, Batman, I'm not going to explain them to you. Two-Face, whose master plan is to rob some banks? Come on, Harvey, step it up. Scarecrow, who scares things again. An imaginary friend you can't punch no matter how hard you try. And the Arkham Knight, a young sounding man in a red suit who clearly has a long past with Bruce Wayne. And if you can't guess who that is before the game tells you, welcome to your first Batman story. They said Batman could become anything, so he became a tank. Get behind the wheel of a roided out Batmobile and protect the city you love by tanking the sh** out of it and settle in as this fun extra feature becomes a chore. With countless forced missions of tank on tank combat, hide and go tank, tank and go seek, and solving puzzles so you and your tank can be together again. In a game so tanky, you don't even have to be in your tank to tank. And in conclusion, tank. So play through a game that lets you truly feel what it's like to be Batman as you take down thugs with extreme non-lethal prejudice. Utilize every crazy gadget at your disposal and fly gracefully through the sky from rooftop to roof. Ah! The f was that? Why would they put jump scares in this game? Ah! Stop scaring me! I don't want to be the Batman! Starring the 1% man. Can't get you out of my head. R.I.P. Gordon's mustache. Red Robin. Yum. Bat. Man. Assassin's Creed. Twisted Metal. And Santa Claus. Arkham. World of Tanks. Yep, that's it for the Batman games. Now it's time to give the people what they really want and echo the Dolphin Aquaman crossover. Am I right? You want to see that? Be sure to subscribe for more Honest Game Trailers and tell me what you'd like to hear me say in my awesome voice. Double the gun, double the fun. Welcome to Stink Donald's, can I take your odor? That child molester just messed with the wrong preschooler. Spoderman, Spoderman, does whatever a spoder can. Teddy Sprinkles, again?